make sure I send them all. Yeah, the clock. Okay. Unity input. Nothing. All right. Consent calendar. Well, that's good to me. Police, what time is he coming in? He didn't say. Okay, all right. So we'll go ahead and. Um, uh, Marcus, not here. Um, highway. Are we doing another non public with you? That's what it says. <coughs> I kept it because you weren't sure that you wanted it. You indicated that you. Yeah. I think that's um, they're ready. So, do you want me to do both yeah. then? Okay. You're, you're going to be a non public, though, right? Yes. Okay. So, are you having a non public or not? It says non public personnel, highway and transport. It's, it's a, I, I, think, I think George is waiting to see if there's an update from the board about what. You all previously discussed in non public. Right, I think that's, okay, we haven't so we have to discuss it more. Yeah. Yeah. So okay, so sense. so you're not having a non public bound. Are you do you, do you have business? Uh yeah. Do you do you mind if you no, no. and then we can go into sure. one? Okay, no, no. then we go ahead and get you taken care of. Um, 
So the transfer station is a, actually, okay, I, then I must have read that line. So the transfer station is a $2,000 line. There hasn't been any, been any expenses to that yet. Um, so that's available. And then the highway department um, repairs and maintenance line is a $5,000 budget line with $2,300 worth of expenses. So you have $2,700 almost in, in the highway line and $2,000. So that's $4,700 combined out of those two lines. Um, and then whatever other available money you want to pull from somewhere else if you want to do that. Um. Okay. Do you have any questions? So what is the priority to get the bins covered? Yeah, I mean, the equipment, we can leave it out, addition out, piecemeal that when we can. Mm -hmm. We get some stuff and start putting it together or whatever. I mean, priority is to get the bins. we got to get them covered. Yeah, I... Because you're adding weight to it when you have yep. the snow in there. So in the well, actually, in the bins... It's not so much weight now, it's just that everything gets frozen and then when you try to get the plastic out and all that stuff on the it, so that stuff should be covered up. Um, what about getting tarps and stuff to cover your equipment instead of your lean-to on a temporary basis? Oh, we, we get most of the stuff covered up. Yeah. It's just the stuff when we want to swap it year round, you know, we just, you know, we just dry the stuff in and leave it on the cover instead of leaving it out in the weather. Well, let's... Um, my suggestion is to let's get the storage uh, transfer station stuff done mm -hmm. now and then give us another week and see what we have until yep. the end of the year to do a PO if, we, if it looks like there's money there. We're always going to be made out and the stuff's going to be ordered, but we may not get a bill on it until right after the first. Take about four or five weeks. Well, That's okay. Makes, we just have um, to keep track of it. Yeah. yeah. As long as the PO is signed, then we can take the money from this year. So. Okay. Right? Yeah. Sorry. Um, I'll move purchase order 1781 to Middleton Building Supply for up to $3,500 for material for recycling. Alright. So you, you, when you order the stuff, you have to know what you're paying when you get it. We don't pay until we get it. You, you, you just give them a, a, a list and then you don't care what it costs? I mean, you have to know what the cost is when you're or when you're we have it. We have a list that's broke down, right? The, right. The roof trust is at $2,500. Yeah. So then we're going to be ordered. That's what I'm just saying, that they won't be here probably before the that end. That doesn't the matter. That's, that's as long as you know what the dollar amount is, oh, of what yeah. your bill is right. going to be, that right. doesn't matter when we oh, get the bill, oh, as long as we have this. Right. So is this one big roof? No, over it's a separate trust. Well, the way the bins are designed, two of them are 20 feet deep. The two of them are 10 feet deep, so we get different size trusses, so it's going to be broken down. It's going to be a you know, regular hip roof, and then and when you do your recycling, there's going to be about a four foot overhang, so you're under the cover mm -hmm. when, you, oh, nice. when you empty your buckets and stuff. And these bins aren't going away anytime soon, right? They're not, you're not looking to get bigger bins next year or anything? We don't need no bigger bins. Okay. Was, no, that, that, that was designed that way to continue doing the full stream the recycling, not yeah. going oh, back to the single stream, which would be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So how many roofs are we talking about? You should have a quantity here. Yeah. It's going to be one roof structure, but it's going to be... So it covers... So separate separate oh, it's going to be, you're not going to do separate... Um, all the bins are in the bins, but all the bins are tied together, so it's just going over the whole bin section. Oh, I see. Okay, so it's just one. Okay. Um, okay, so then if you know that it's going to be over 35, you need to let Caroline know once you go in and know you have a better idea of what the price is, okay? All right. Any further discussion? No, good. Okay. Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 size, but we put 10 inch size high, 10 inch higher size on it, so 
Okay. It's just the way it was designed. Okay. See, that's got to tilt. If there's a bed inside the bed, it tips up. Right, because you're going to stand from the middle of the bed, right? Okay. No, you're standing right behind a cab. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so that's... And so much easier. Okay. All right. Okay. I was just curious. I wasn't expecting it. I, I, I was saying, where's the other half of it? <laughs> Sorry. See, they can't put... That's what was wrong with the other truck. Yeah. It was overbuilt. It was this, the body on it was bigger than the truck could handle, and that's mm -hmm. what shortened the life of that vehicle. Okay. This one needs a more power than. And we can actually, this truck here will go up Highland Street and. Could? Yeah, so. The one down here, there, that you had a hard time with, too. It's that and then mechanics, we mechanic, would any of them. That truck, but we, we tried it on all the streets Good. that we thought we'd have to own the way. Fits in it, you know, does the job it's supposed to do. Then the sanding, now with the sanding underneath the truck, where it should be, it's even more of a plus. So. Okay. All right. Any other questions? No. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Joe. Thank you, Joe. Have a good night. Um, I have to go see one. <laughs> <coughs> I'm just going to give that to you. Can I just paint this? <laughs> uh, recently, the town received a bill from Townsend uh, to repair on the furnace. Uh, they came to do the yearly inspection. They found there was, a, there was an issue on the inside of the, uh, the furnace. Some sleeve that goes over the burning part needed to be replaced. So they sent us the bill for $331.03. And of course, the bill just says, parts and labor. Mm -hmm. So I went back and I complained to them. I said, again, you know, we're going through the same thing. You said you guys would be specific on your invoices in the future that you go, you're going to let us know what the issue is. Mm -hmm. So they're still trying to rectify that. But in the meantime, um, I got them to null and void this bill it, so, for us. So just to let you know. And we've also started um, this year recently that uh, we're actually starting an Excel spreadsheet for all of our equipment downstairs. We've done it for the cruisers and the cruiser, <coughs> cruiser items, but we now have a spreadsheet for the furnace, for all the HVAC units, and the generator. So every time there is a, uh, an issue, date, the repair, how much it costs, whatever. So uh, somewhere we'll have something in this time. Okay. Excellent. The number of purchase orders here. I met with Caroline last, was it, last Thursday or Friday, and we discussed these. And there was sufficient money and the police budget to take care of all of these, except for this last one. There's still plenty of money, but um, I didn't discuss this one with Caroline. Now, the first one is number 1715, made out to the graphics shop, G R A F I X, for $462. and no sense. And this comes out of warrant article number nine on the cruiser, and this is for the striping and lettering for the 2020 cruiser. Okay. <clears throat> Automotive purchase order 1715 to graphics shop for $462 for stripes and lettering for the new cruiser. Okay. All right. Any discussion? No. Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Just to give you an update on the cruiser, our cruiser had not made, it's sitting in Chicago. Um, apparently Ford has detected some issues with some of the cruisers that they've made, so they're trying to rectify them all. Uh, so we're just waiting for it to get delivered at this point. So you down to three down cruisers three. at this point? Okay. Because yeah. the one that the transfer station is the one that you took out of service. Yeah. That, that, that one, uh, with that yet? pardon me? How come we haven't done something with that yet? Uh, I'm waiting for uh, Mike Spinney to take the stripes off. Okay. Um, I signed that sideline that one in September, which is just making a new car because that one is about $2,500 worth of work. Oh, the month was gone. Mm -hmm. So rather than pay for that, just give it. Okay, okay. Um, generator connection was here to do a major repair, which is part of our service agreement. And of course, they found something wrong with the generator. They had to uh, purchase a bamboo, banjo joint and a fuel return line, which had failed. And so uh, that's a cost of $385, and that would come out of the town hall maintenance. Purchase order 1711 uh, to generator and 
connection for the repairs to the generator in the amount of $385. Okay, any discussion? Okay. 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 One and seven, one left. Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Purchase order number 1883, mailed to the White Water Car Wash for 12 months for washing the four vehicles for $1,152. And that will come on our fuel line. Uh, and we'll purchase order 1883 to White Water Car Wash uh, for $1,152 for annual car wash. Okay, is this for next year or is this for this year? This is for next year. Okay. Starting. Uh, I think it's like December 26 or something like that. So did you have the budget in, yes, in your it, budget? It's, yeah, it's, it was calculated into the fuel line item. Okay, but we're going to take it out of 19's budget instead? Yes, yeah, this one's coming out of 19. Okay. All right, any other discussion? Yep. All right, all those in favor say aye. 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 I thought I had its own budget or yeah. mm. Uniform cleaning does. Oh. <coughs> Several months ago, I had mentioned that we want to replace uh, all of our seven computers downstairs uh, with surplus this year because of the Microsoft uh, issue, as well as our newest machine is, is 10 years old. Uh, so, uh, purchase order number 1878, made out to ProVantage, P R O V A N T A G, or Tom Bell. I'm not sure. Tom's ordering, so I'm not sure we'll get the bill right. from him or directly from ProVantage. And that's $6,048. And that's all of yeah. the things that you have to do? Yes. With the software? With all the software, software. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Did you move it? No, I'm going to purchase order 1878 to Provantage slash Tom LaBelle for seven computers in the amount of $6,048. All set. All right. So, so it's all of them and all of the software and licenses all software, and all, all of that. All of the licenses, yes. 40 computer, yeah. 224 for all of those. Okay. Right. And that includes monitors as well? Uh, we're not replacing any monitors. Just the desktop. Are they desktops or laptops? What's that? Are they desktop or laptops? These are desktops, desktops. yes. Okay. yes. Our monitors are working fine. Do you know what, what kind of uh, processor or anything? No, no, sort of RAM? Tom, Tom looked at it and said it's not going to be an issue. Oh, um, yeah. It's just there. It's a lot for a desktop. But Oh, you mean for, for 640? For, for kind of go off for just a single tower. But it's probably savings, but no, it's a good time for anything else. So I'm not fine with that. I can tell you the description 4PG34UT ABA HP S by Elite Desk 705 G4 SFF Ryzen 5 Pro 2400G. 8 gigabits, 8 gigabytes, 256 gigabytes, DVD, RWW, 1086. <laughs> no, it's not bad. It's not, it's not oh, base. Base. <laughs> no, it's just a little bit, but that's not like a base, that's not a base model, so that's good. It's not like we're getting like something, total piece of crap. Yeah. Right, that'll last another 10 years. Yeah. Yes. All right. Um, any further discussion? Yeah. No. And the money is all taken care of in the police department for that. Six the rebudgeting worksheet that I sent you yeah. today and what I told you about that um, has that budget money already allocated. Okay. So. okay. And these are lifelong licenses for office, right? They're not like the year ones. Are you getting the 2019 version? Or? Yeah, that's the 2019. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, the license. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. <clears throat> Purchase order number 1882 to watch guard uh, to replace a microphone for the in cruiser camera for unit 74 and uh, for repair on the main board for in cruiser camera number unit 72. For a total of $1,038. Now we're going to our equipment line in. <coughs> uh, I'll move purchase order 1882 to watch guard for $1,038 for uh, in cruiser camera repairs. Seconded. Okay. Any discussion? Yeah. 
motion? Nope. All right, hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 This is the one you've been talking about for a while, right? Or was there an install in the kit in the cruiser earlier? We did a, we actually installed two this year, one for the new car, mm -hmm. and then we put one in the 73. Okay. Yeah. And we have a camera down, yeah, we have a camera downstairs waiting to put in a new car. So in 2020, we'll replace the last one, so we'll have the new camera in the last car as well. So it'll all be up to date on the same. Okay, purse order number 1714, Red's Shoebon. Two pairs of boots, uh, one for your Raskovich, one for Morissette. $283.48. We purchased order 1714 for Red Shoebon for two pairs of boots in the amount of $283.48. Is that part of the uniform? Yeah, it's yes. the Okay, any discussion? No. <coughs> no. Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Number 1880 to 1BEAD, CPR, and AED. three adult pads for our uh, eight units and the town hall needs one. They all expired back in November. And that will come out of our will come out of our first aid and the town hall when I was going to come out of the town hall supplies is two hundred and thirty six dollars. I do purchase order one eight eight zero to one B CPR and AED for two hundred and thirty six dollars for uh, AED pads. Okay, any discussion? Can you do a single purchase order for cross categories? One, always one vendor, but it can hit several lines, yes. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 I like these easy, easy ones. Yeah, you can do it though. AD pads. Let's go. Number 1712. To Axon, A X O N Academy. This is our annual uh, recertification of a Taser instructor, and that's four hundred ninety-five dollars. Now we come out on for development line. Move to order one seven one two to Axon Academy for a certification for a laser, a Taser instructor. So four hundred ninety-five dollars. Uh, second that. All right. Any discussion? So this is to certify someone on. The our department to be a certified instructor to instruct the rest of us and recertify the rest of us. So does that, is that like a course they take? Yes, it's a one day course that they have to take every year. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Um, uh, Person number 1716. Made out to LED lighting solutions yeah. for two 30 mile an hour speed limit sign with LED flashing lights and the solar pack um, uh, specifically earmarked for the air road. Uh, uh, that will come out of our no line item. Cool. Is there um, a, like a. Two thousand nine one. Forty-two. Uh, have they, or do we need to do any evaluation as far as like light dappling off for the solar panel on that road, or does it have to be in a, like a section of full sun, or is it okay if it's? It's okay to be in a shady area as long as it's getting some sun. Okay. Yeah. Cool. It does have a battery backup as well. Nice. So. Um, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. It's <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> Purchase order 1716 to LED lighting solutions for $2,091.42 for two uh, 30 mile an hour speed limit signs. Right. Further discussion? So these light up when a car approaches? <coughs> yes. When they are going over the speed limit or just No, the, the, all the it time. Doesn't, it it doesn't just detect what you're going. Right, right. It does not detect what they're traveling. 
And whereabouts are they going to be located? They're going to be in the, uh, the, the populated part of Bear Road. One at Sligo and Bear, Portland Avenue and Bear. And we'll just have a standard 30 sign down on the end of the wow. Awesome. All right. All those in favor say aye. 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 Uh, aye. That would be cool. Yeah. Feels like every other day I see a, like a Facebook thread like, how can we make people slow down on Bear Road and not go around cars at that intersection? And, and someone's like, can't we put up a sign? And I'm thinking about all these things that you told us that you tried. And, I mean, when my car vibrates when someone's passing me on the wrong yeah. side, it just, yeah. you know how fast they're going. I mean, I'm glad they're on that side, not hitting me in the rear, but, you know, still. <laughs> okay, the last item is actually on, on the wish list, and I, I know we have money in the police budget. Uh, I was going to order this year, but I'm thinking if the town can squeak out another $3,200 somewhere, and then the budget would be nice. Looking into get this sign right here, it's... Uh, one of those signs that tells you what your speed is, you go by it, and if you're traveling over a particular speed limit, uh, that you can that the officers can set or flash lights to indicate that they're traveling over the speed limit. Uh, red, blue, and white, the numbers and self flash as well. And what's nice about this unit, it's portable, so we can play some bear road one day, we can play over for, you know, for, for a period, actually, well, not daily, but then we can play some Clemmer Road for a period of time, on Roberts Road for a period of time, and Main Street. So it's adaptable, can move we move around the entire town. And what's nice about this is also it does record as well. Uh, not, 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 this, not the license plates of vehicles, but it lets us know how many cars, is. what their speed is, and then things like that. And then you can do studies on and then you, yeah. 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 And the time of day and stuff as well. Yes. And can you collect that data remotely? Yes. Cool. Yeah. Is this, um, is this, so, so the, the sign that was on the warrant, in March was a message board sign. Correct. But also had these capabilities? It had a built-in radar unit. Okay. And it had the ability that you put a message on the town hall, town family yeah. day, voting. I just wanted to be told that we didn't <coughs> buy something that was a, was voted down. It, it's an interesting point. There's a provision that no means no. No means no. Uh, um, so it's up to the board if you think this is enough different. So for example, if this was exactly what he was proposing to buy in the Warren article, yeah. I would say it would not be allowed. Correct. Because the voters voted it down. But it isn't exactly, it's similar. So, you know. I'm um, hearing well, enough complaints about the speeds in a lot of roads. And well, that's what this is strictly going to be used for, is to monitor the speeds. And what they're going. And what's nice is the violator, or I shouldn't say the violator, but the motors themselves will immediately see how fast they are traveling. Yeah. And hopefully it will curl uh, their arm. Yeah. So I would suggest that if the board wants to approve this purchase order, that that you do so, but then we call DRA and make sure that it's enough different from yeah. what was proposed in the Warren article that we're not breaking any rules with it. Okay. Okay, I would, I would agree to that. But it, it well. There's no, it's no yeah. message, it's just it's a no message. It's, 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 it's not a message board, and that's what Dylan was supposed uh, A message board. It was a message board yep. with the capability of being able to do. Yeah, this radio. is like half the thing, it seems. Yeah. <coughs> and how much a difference in the price, too? Uh, uh, well, the other one was, uh, was twenty some odd thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah. so I mean, clearly that, that was a full trailer. trailer. That was a trailer. That was a full that, trailer yeah. with a great big sign about right. the size of that screen right there. Right. When that was sold, the whole package. Which this is, we're trying to, we're trying to curb speeding yeah, yeah, in town. Well, right. And because you're only put it on town roads, clearly, right? No, we can put that on Main Street or Silver Street. They have for speeding. Sure, why not? Yes. Right, you can. Oh, you're speeding. Yeah, we that's force, true. We force, that's, uh, you do. You give tickets on that road, right? <laughs> okay, and the state takes all that. the money no matter where we're Well, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's true. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, that's it. So, what is this mounted on? Is it, is it, it's not a trailer? No, it's mounted right to the telephone there. Well, oh, okay. Anecdotally, I'm 
I'm a horrible, horrible offender of speeding. <laughs> when I see, I am. And when I see signs like that, it does make me sad. Oh, I, yes. I see my speed and I'm like, it starts flashing at me and I'm like, oh man, was I going that fast? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so does he have this money in his budget that he can? That we he can? certainly does. Okay. He, we went over reallocating funds yep. and you know, he's got, that was in, I think, one of the things that you, you had... Right, that the majority, the more, majority of his money is coming out of unspent um, funds for a full-time line item. Mm -hmm. um, because, you know, Sean didn't come back until May. We didn't hire Jared until April. And Mitch had started until February. So that, that's what the majority is coming from there. Yeah. All right, so what are your thoughts? Yeah. Yeah, I think if, if you've worked out the numbers... Okay, do we want to put a motion? Well, I have a personal radio oh, oh, okay. Our personal number 1884 to custom signals, that's custom with a K. Yeah, we did. For one PDM 12 speed limit sign package for $3,218. And that's the shipping right here, right? Yes. Uh, I just sort of uh, 1884 for custom signals, custom with a K, for PMD 12 speed limit sign, the amount $3,218. Um, any further discussion? Um, what's the lifespan of the solar panel? This one here does not have the solar panel. It went straight with the straight, straight battery, battery. Straight double, oh. double battery pack. Oh, I'm getting it confused with the one before. Never mind. Yeah. Take a, uh, take a five to seven day run time. Yeah, it's but there's an optional 50W solar panel with the W stand blocks. Yes. Okay. All right, so um, so we're going to say that it's contingent upon getting the approval that this is not the same thing as what we had. I don't anticipate a problem because I don't it's, it's significantly it's enough different that I don't think it's an I issue, but I think it's still worth, yeah. just so that we don't get dinged on too much. Okay. All right, then. All those in favor say aye. All right. Aye. Aye. What's the last span of the other solar panel for the other side? So between five to ten years. Oh, okay, um, true. Yeah. Okay. That's all that I have for you, and then for me. I do have one thing. And I know it's not something that you can do, but maybe you could make a phone call. Well, I'm Rollins Road, actually. I'm heading towards um, Franco the railroad tracks, it appears, and I'm just saying it appears, the tracks are, are like this. And it just scares me every time I go over there that's going to puncture my tire. Oh, yeah. Oh, what, Have you what, seen what, what, it? Would it connect with this type? When I'm driving towards um, uh, Janko, yeah. it, on this side, it, it, it just looks like it's it's elevated up. Is it like the end of a track meeting the yeah, other track? Track? Well, it probably two pieces are, and one yeah. piece is popped up, and it's been that way for a while. I just feel like mm -hmm. if someone would tell me it won't slice my tires, and I'll feel so much happier. Sure, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a real entry. I love you looking at my own tonight. Yeah. Way, right? yeah. <laughs> but it just, to me, it, it just looks like it's something yes. hit it. And, and it's before that, winter. It was yeah. even like that before winter. I kept yeah. forgetting to say something. I don't know why it's like elevated. A little. Yeah, it's over on the. Oh. It's it's to its it's on the right hand side. Oh. Yeah. So anyway, if you would look at it, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, that's all I have. How about you guys? All right, so do we want to go into my topic? Yes, but first, Bob, if you would, I just want to say, can you get me the yellow copies of the purchase orders? Is, like, take them downstairs and log them, but um, I don't want to wait for bills to come in because it's the end of the year. We'll I want to make sure. Tomorrow. Thank you. I want to know what we've got going on. Thank you. So we need to go to the nothing else. Okay. 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 All right, motion to go into non-public? Uh, I move we go into non-public for personnel. RSA 91-A, colon 3, section 2, letter A. Okay. Okay, roll call. Miles? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Denise, yes. I think I'm going to public. So fire isn't out there, is he? You know no. Him? All right. Um, we're going to do welfare at the end of the evening. 
Yes. And 2020 budget. Is That's just a placeholder. Just I don't a place have anything. There's anything else out there. Yeah. Recreation. Also just a placeholder. placeholder. Assessing sales data. That's the um, item in your folder, um, Jessica's folder there. Um, it's a letter from Avatar saying that they put all of our sales data into the DRA portal, which is um, the data that, that there, yes. Um, so that worksheet needs to get signed. Um, the data determines our equalization ratio from Department of, Re uh, Department of Revenue. Um, the equalization ratio is the, the statistical number that the very it, um, it's it's how far our assessed values are from market rate. So you know we get a reval every five years, and then the market goes up and down and does whatever. The equalization ratio is it tells us how our valuations um, relate to assessed value. So so that's the sales data there. Um, you can look at it on the portal, but ultimately I, I need the board to sign the pink sheet. We need to send it back to DRA so that they can finalize our equalization ratio. Um, so when you when someone sells a house that, just for instance, if it was 100000 and they sold it for 300000 because someone really, really wanted it, does that affect what that assessing of that house is? That's just no. what affects the taxes are paid on that, right? No. Um, None of the above. It doesn't mm -hmm. affect anything. Okay. All right. Um, except for the equalization ratio. It, it just becomes data for um, how, how close our valuations are to actual market rate. Assuming that was an arm's length transaction. You know, for example, if you, if you sell your house to your son for a dollar, then that, that's not part of the sales data because everybody recognizes that's not market value. But it, it probably isn't really market value either. If someone really wants that piece of property and really wants that house and is willing to pay whatever to get it, doesn't mean that that's what the value is of that house, even well, though that that's what they pay, or the market value for that house, right? There's something that compelled that person to buy that property. And so there's no way to know you know, statistically, or like you know, you know, in a data analytics kind of way, what it is about that mm -hmm. property that compelled that price. Mm -hmm. There are a number of factors. I mean, it could just be that waterfront property is really hot. Um, you, you never know what the or, or because it's it speculation. Too, it could be speculation. It could be because you know it was the person's grandfather's house. Like you know, right? I was gonna say it could be personal. You know, it could absolutely be know. personal. But um, it just is it, it, it if it goes up. It, it's fine, it goes up, mm -hmm. it just goes into this data and, and helps to determine the equalization ratio. And by the way, the sales data also, within a given time frame, is used to substantiate abatement requests. So when um, abatements are denied, if the board does not grant an abatement, somebody finds that their home value is not what they, it, it's overvalued, so they're overtaxed. Mm -hmm. Um, they file an abatement, and then if the board denies that, they can go to the Board of Land and Tax Appeals and um, enter into negotiations with the assessor. Um, they're always required to negotiate before the board takes it up, but um, those sales data figures always come into play in aggregate for the town, but potentially also by neighborhood or by a feature like waterfront property mm -hmm. or, or something like that. Okay. All right. Is there any questions on this? Yeah. What's a bank sale? Sale? Um, foreclosure. Oh. All right, so is everyone in between? By name, motion to make a motion to uh, sign this? Second. Yeah. Okay. Any discussion? All yeah. those in favor say aye. Aye. Or aye. Okay, so we sign the top of the signature. Right there on the left there. Yes. Thank you. You guys probably covered this in prior meetings, but whatever happened with um, the police space needs? <laughs> um, it's on the agenda. No, is it? Oh, did I miss it? Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. We'll get there. Never mind. We'll get there. Okay. okay. So we're going to table D until the end. Or you have it. Okay. Um, organizational structure tax collector. So
so all non-department head employees of the town who do not otherwise report to the board or have a supervisor, um, they, they all report to me except the tax collector. So um, I've had conversations with you each individually about that, but um, it just makes sense, I think, that she have a supervisor so that she yeah. have a voice with the board and that the board has a more official um, communication line to her. Mm -hmm. um, I approached her about that. She doesn't have any concerns with it. I did invite her to talk to the board about it if she wanted to. Um, it's hard for her to get to Monday night meetings, so she, she declined that, but she doesn't have any concerns, so she didn't feel the need to meet with the board about that if you wanted to do that. Is, okay. is this part of a personnel manual or policy that we need to change, or just a um, vote? It, it would, a vote is sufficient, and um, we should change that in my job description. Okay. Which I asked for a copy of it, and I was going to write up something, and then have, we can do that after the fact. Okay. But like, as long as we give her the authority to be the supervisor of her, we can modify her job description accordingly. Okay. Or the job description. So it's always there. Well, and likewise... Um, and there, that person's yes. description as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I was trying to think about that. You know. I'll move that uh, we have the tax collector report to the town administrator. All right, any further discussion? Mm -hmm. Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Effective immediately, I'm assuming. Yep. Okay. Okay. Alright. 7-10. Um, Space needs. Space needs. Yep. What, did, did we hear anything? No. Oh. So, um, did we send it certified? Yes. Did they get it? So, so I would just like to caution you to either say what's public or to go into non-public. And, um... Alright, you want to... Oh, is there non-public? Well, we... Yes. So, at this point, it looks like there is not going to be a space needs study, and I, I would keep it to that. Okay. And so you if you want to talk about it further, we can go into non-public. No. Okay. Alright. Alright, um, we can discuss the uh, personnel problem of that, uh, or uh, what do you call it, um, reputation of... of uh, person in the, in our non public radar. Okay. Is that because it's a like a reputation of the outside company? Potentially. Mm -hmm. Oh I see. Okay. I guess I thought that it was just that was for like reputation of a person in the town. It could be anybody. It could be anybody. I, okay, I didn't if, if you're going to potentially disparage a reputation of anybody except for you three, then Got it. we should go into <laughs> oh, we can do off right out in public, right? <laughs> <That's> right. <laughs> okay. All right. So um so we're all set with um, time we're waiting a little bit for that, right? Until we go to non public yeah. discuss it further. Okay. So policy review, trans station ordinance, PH. Pu public dates. hearing dates. Oh. So it's just a placeholder. You don't have to decide them oh. now, but we ought to have a public hearing closer to. Um, so the deliberative session will be the first Saturday, probably in February. Mm -hmm. So maybe the third week in January or something like that. Okay. Um, so it doesn't have to be tonight, but I just don't want it forgotten that we should set a public hearing date for that. Okay. Okay. Um, all right, and the purchasing policy, um, let's see if we can do something on that for next week, if at all possible. Um, yep. Getting up something and writing on that. Yep. I looked at it. I thought it was fine. I didn't. I didn't. I saw you sent a note to check on something. They're all just. Um, I, so I sent another <laughs> version with minor revisions, changing. He found some. Um, it referenced administrative assistant bookkeeper in a lot of places. I thought I had gotten all of the ones yeah. that I wanted changed to town administrator. Mm -hmm. He found a couple of other ones. Okay. So I resent it to you all. Mm -hmm. um, it does. Um, there are other um, policies that are um, referenced in that policy, like the credit card um, use, um, user holder agreement and um, um, ethics. So um, I think it makes sense for those to follow. I just wanted to 
give you a head, heads up about where we're going. Since we're doing this one and it references, we ought to make sure that we're thinking about them contextually at the same time. Can you send those to, sure. to us as well so we can look at it um, yes. while we're doing it all at the same time? That makes sense. Okay. Sure. All right. Ethics and credit card credit agreement. Card. Okay. All right. What's the first one? It's ethics. Ethics. Oh, ethics. Well. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, board members' activities and updates. Um, I don't. I don't have anything. Okay, Jessica. Um, I have. Um, I have budget tomorrow night, and I have recreation Thursday night. Fun week. Yeah. How's recreation then? Um, it's going okay. Yeah, there's a lot, of to, mm -hmm. a lot of stuff to still get ironed out and stuff, so. But it, it's going okay. And the two new members seem really um, like great additions. Yeah. That's kind of exciting to have yeah. some fresh some voices. Some ideas and stuff yeah. too, so. Um, but yeah, it, it's going okay. Um, our sister, our visitor for Thanksgiving, she's, as I said before, she's like the head of a of the rec department. Mm -hmm. And I learned, uh, we were talking about, I didn't realize that she like answered the time, I didn't realize any of this. And her rec department is actually funded by like five different towns, little small towns. Mm -hmm. And she's telling me about how some of them like the rec department and some of them don't. Mm -hmm. And I was like, how do you guys decide who contributes money? And she's like, well. And just administratively, what a nightmare disaster that must be, like if one town doesn't want to support the rec department, and one town does. Is that up in the Conway area? No, it's in Vermont. Oh, okay. It's in, uh, she lives in Bristol, Vermont. And uh, it just historically, the boards have all hated the rec department, because now they kind of are, some of them like it, some of them don't, and I was like, I do not envy that at all. <laughs> That would cause budget fluctuations. Yeah, <laughs> can you even <laughs> plan? Right. Yeah. Right. Town minister, town administrator. Uh, um, the front office is uh, the town hall is going to be closed Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve um, because people are taking time for those days. They're not official holidays, so that is getting posted. Um, we're working on year-end closing out year-end in every way we can think to close out. You've got some um, disbursements in your folder um, to approve so that we can get as much paid now as we can get repaid. Um, but we're in good shape. Um, I've asked the department heads to finish getting p purchase orders to the board by Monday, if at all possible, so that we know what we're carrying over and that that's minimized. Um, so we're getting ready for the audit, and, and that's all. That's all good. Um, the planning board is proposing zoning amendments. Um, one of them is relative to junkyards. I have an update about that in a second. Um, the other is about um, building permits and what we what we require building permits for, because really it's quite extensive and extensive, and I didn't realize that it includes painting too. Mm -hmm. So. Um, it doesn't seem to make sense. It's more burdensome than um, most communities. I don't think someone should have to get a permit to do maintenance on their home. I mean, but it doesn't improve the, the value of the property. That it does, much. actually. It, it, um, a recent coat of paint does improve the value of the property. Cosmetic things more than really? other things. Mm -hmm. But, wow. you know, so, so there is an assessing value. But is it enough to warrant the administrative overhaul and the burden to the taxpayer? So, you know, if you want to think, if you want to look at that part of the zoning ordinance, the zoning ordinance is online. The portion about building permits is toward the end. Um, I can send you the page number if you're interested. But think about if you want to give the planning board any feedback about um, what you want to see it say. Um, I have Tom Clark working on what, uh, you know, a proposal, um, the language itself, and I will send that along to you when, when he's got that ready. So when you're talking about painting, are you taking, talking about painting the your outside of your house, or are you talking about painting a wall in your house? Both. 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 Well, it's like $1,500, over 1500 But if you do it yourself, would it be 1500 to paint it's, inside of your house it's, a it's, one it's room? Never, it's never valued on doing it yourself. Any building permit that you get is supposed to be valued at what you would, what, what you would 
charge somebody else to do it mm -hmm. because it's about it's supposed to be about the value to the property, so not about what is the value of the supplies. So the value of the property to the property is close, most closely matched by what you would pay a contractor. I guess I would agree that the outside of the house that makes a little more sense, but pretty much all of it. I mean, I'm ruining your house. How, how many building permits have been pulled to paint? Zero, uh, pretty zero. much, because so, we hadn't realized that. I, that I, so no one's I've doing it. I know you got me. I, I, know, I mean, I it cost did. 50 yeah. bucks, yeah. but I, I <laughs> yeah, put it on my building permit. Well, we, we had Yes, because that's what they were Well, if you were doing a total, I was large doing two rooms. Work, right. Yeah, I was doing two rooms. I was doing a reno, which the price included the painting oh. of the house. So that's what the, I paid a building permit on that fee. I mean, that's it was part of my job. I mean, my <clears> construction job, or whatever yeah. you want to call it. But would I have if I just was painting that house, that one room in my little house? Probably not. How much does a building permit cost? Because a gallon of paint costs 50 bucks. Well, something with something. It's, it's twenty-five dollars um, as a flat administrative fee, and then ten dollars per thousand dollars in valuation mm -hmm. on top of the twenty-five. Mm -hmm. Round up. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. Seventy-five dollars. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, have a look, if you will, and, and think about what you think about that. Okay. Um, I also have um, Tom thinking about housing standards um, because that's another one that requires town meeting approval to be revised. So if you all want to look at that and see if you have any thoughts or suggestions, um, please let me know. Um, January 9th, the planning board is having their public hearing about whatever it is that they're going to have for revisions. Um, they'll be discussing that at their next planning board meeting the first Tuesday of um, January on the 7th. No, on the 9th, that's their next meeting. So that's they, when they're discussing. That's when they're discussing. They meet another. They meet. They meet another. They meet, They made another. They changed their schedule around, and then there's. So there's a December. I think it's. They're meeting December. Yeah, they're they're meeting sometime. Yeah, the workshop. Okay, so de Thursday, December nineteenth, the planning board is meeting, just to have a workshop to go over language revisions for zoning and possibly housing. So. If you want to, um, I will pass those on to you when I have them, but if you want to think about what you'd like to see, by all means, let me know. Um, uh, just, uh, how is the, the new arrangement with the, the planning consultant, with Tom? Um, it's, it's, it's overall working out really well. We have some process glitches, which kind of are always process glitches, yep. but... Um, Whenever there's a change, they become more pronounced. So we're working yeah. those out. Um, but as far as the feedback and the information flow goes, you know, it's it's much better. It's it's much better. I'm thrilled. It's really good. Um, I also wanted to just bring to your attention that the planning board's talking about impact fees again. Mm -hmm. It comes up periodically. We have the authority in the zoning ordinance to impose impact fees. We have not been. What's an impact fee? It is a fee per service. Um, you have to, so whenever there's new construction, it's an additional fee on top of the building permit for the impact of that resident on whatever service you want to charge an impact fee for. So, like fire, school, fire, school, school roadways, or like whatever you think it's going to have an impact on. But you have to prove the impact, keep track of it, put it in escrow, and then give it back to people after a period of time if you have not realized that impact. But isn't that what taxes are? Mm -hmm. Well, yes, but it's a way to not tax existing residents for the impact of newly created homes that they had nothing to do oh, with. Oh, so like, is it something that only happens for like a year? Or? No, well, once you do it, you do it until you stop doing it. Mm -hmm. So you can't just do it for this home and not that one, but then again for this one and this development, but not that one. It's a uniform, it, once you do it, you, you have to implement it uniformly. But it's a one charge fee for the person who's so mm -hmm. it's, it's built per, as building. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Well, so yes, but it is it is a um, it's a compilation of whatever those impact fees are. So so they write one check, but it may be only for fire impact, but it may be just for school, or it might be for school and fire. So th there may be multiple impacts, but typically it is one fee to the town for that. But we have to keep track of it. Mm -hmm. So 
um, it's worthwhile when you consider major developments in town and the you know the potential for major developments if the 58 acres on Bayer Road becomes we don't know how many homes that could potentially be quite a lot um, that could have quite an impact and it would be worthwhile to have impact fees um, but at the same time it's quite an administrative lift to get impact fees implemented mm -hmm. if something like that doesn't happen. So it's kind of a risk-benefit assessment. I mean, but if you got a development like Stockville again, anywhere in town, that mm -hmm. would definitely have at least an impact on schools. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know, so that, I mean, that's, I so mean, the size of that. So it's that you charge to the developer or the builder, right? Yes. Not yeah. the buyer of the home. Well, all well, costs are inevitably yeah. passed yeah. on, yeah. 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 you know. Because they have to make, they're going to make whatever money they're going to mm -hmm. make. Right. But yes, you know. So I just wanted to pass that on, um, something to think about, and you know, if you have any feedback about it, I'd certainly pass it on to the planning board. Um, it's it's an administrative lift, and it's complicated. Mm -hmm. But um, we have quite a number of really large parcels in town that could become developed, and if and when they do. Mm -hmm. Um, it would be a burden to all the taxpayers, whatever that impact is, mm -hmm. if we're not doing impact fees. So. And whose responsibility to take care of the impact fees? I mean, keep track of it and all of that. Is it your, you and Chuck? Or? It would be me and Chuck. Why wouldn't it be Andrea? Well, because it's it has more to do with planning than it has to do with... Okay. And because the enforcement of it would be in the building permit cycle and the planning cycle okay. and not part of the tax okay. cycle. Right. So, so there's that. Um, junkyard update, um, we do have a set of plans from um, the design professional working on behalf of the junkyard. Um, it shows a satellite image of the use of the property extending beyond its legal bounds. Um, he's claiming that that's not currently the case and that that's an old satellite photo. So Tom is working that out with the design professional and the property owner. So there's at least movement. Um, it's not quite at planning yet, but there are, there's, there are things moving. Um, Tom was ready to suggest to the board that you approve his annual permit. Um, until he saw that, and so we want to make sure that it's within its um, property boundaries before we um, have you all sign the permit. So he's running without a permit right now. Mm -hmm. It has been since um, you know the middle of eighteen. Yeah. So we will recoup those fees. He pays annual fees, and we will get those renewal fees when ultimately a permit is issued. Mm -hmm. Something like hundred yes. dollars, right? It's not very much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, <coughs> that is all I have. Okay. Wonderful. Want to go through the binding? Or yes, we, please. There's a lot of stuff. In here. Yeah, <laughs> please do. We, yeah. Okay, there's a, a um, something about the uh, health trust. Just approving, I guess, what the charges will be for the health trust for the renewal. Right. With that yes. saying, that we will accept their their uh, revised fees, yep. right for 2020. Okay, so just one person. Yes. Sign it. Okay. Need a motion that we're going to accept the um, health trust's new medical coverage and rates. So moved. All right. Seconded. All right. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All right. All right. What is this, uh, Caroline? Account quick report. Town of Brownsford. That, um, if you um, look on the other side, there's a dollar amount of twenty nine hundred dollars. Twenty nine hundred thirteen sixty cents. Okay, so there are three expenses that hit the capital reserve fund this year. Um, it's a question for the board. They certainly qualify to be in the ca in the Colbert capital reserve fund. If you would rather have more money in the general fund or we can move those expenses over to the operating budget because we can afford to do so if you prefer to keep the balance in the Colbert Reserve Fund higher. I have no opinion. Well, uh, you, you well, well what's the balance in our Colbert Fund? I, I anticipated that question and I neglected to... Okay. Um, Is it more than 10000 
it is more than ten thousand dollars. So, so my concern is that we have um, this newly discovered, well, not newly discovered, but it's the the situation on locusts going on to foundry is um, worse than we had known it to be before, and um, that's going to likely require engineering and could be quite expensive. And, con and concerns of Culver, right? So it would it would mean so we would start with cameraing the pipes and then engineering and likely all of the structures from behind the legion to the river would need to get replaced, mm -hmm. um, or that's the worst case scenario yeah. anyway. But I think it's pretty likely. So it's better to have the money in the forward yeah. fund than it is to have it. Cool. So yeah. I want to say I just want to pass that. Button. So it's twenty nine okay. thirteen sixty. So are we all in favor of having that go? To the general fund instead of going yes. in the culvert. Yes. Okay. Okay. All Thank right. you. Now we have uh, purchase order one eight zero zero to BIB offset printing for newsletters for the amount of two hundred fifty dollars and seventy five cents. Second that. All right. Any further discussion? No. Hearing none. All those in favor, say aye. 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 <coughs> There's a letter for your signature here, notifying someone that they need a building permit. All right. Do we have to vote on this? I'm sending a letter um, for someone who has not um, not got a building permit for renovation. I think it's on Kelly by consensus, but that's up to you. Yep. I'm good with it. Okay. All right. Do you want me to put the address in? It's 33 Cowan Drive. I just signed it on. Oh, sorry. There you go. Um, a bunch of requests for disbursements. Um, one for Tamara for conservation for $100. Okay. One for the treasurer. It says for three quarters of treasurer stipend. Have, has he not gotten his other? Because the first quarter was already dispersed since it was of the previous election cycle. He, he took a quarter of the stipend, but he still has three quarters of it remaining. Oh, okay. okay. And then us. Okay. How much was that one? 1950 Select board for 1000 1000 and 1200 to Denise. Can we just go through them all? I would then, then we'll short, make a motion. Meals, on, meals on meals for 1000 This is a, that's in the budget line. Yep. Yes. Right. Seeds of faith for 1000 <laughs> Easter seals, formerly homemakers of Stratford County for 1000 okay. Haven for 1500 Okay. CISA of New Hampshire for 500 Community Action Partnership for $1,500. I'll give you all of you to some And Cornerstone VNA for $1,500. It says they're all budgeted. Okay. So did we did we have something for the Shipyard Association, or has that already been taken care of? It has been paid already. Okay. All right. It is $100. Yeah. Okay. So there's a motion to... Uh, uh, I'll move that we approve the all? request for disbursement. Okay. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 So we only one only one of us signs it. It's that's the way the form has been okay. written. Yeah, yeah. just right. don't sign your own. I just I was gonna say I'm gonna pull mine out. All right, why don't you go ahead and I'll, I'll start signing and and then uh, I'll pull mine out and you can sign it, Miles. All right, now we've got. Yeah. Two. I'm in there. I think that this is a that's not public. Well, that was in your consent calendar, which was approved right before you arrived. Oh. But by the way, as a point of order, you you can re, um, you, you can vote to reconsider the consent calendar and vote to remove something from the consent calendar if you think it warrants discussion. Oh, I don't think vote. it warrants. I think it's fine. Did we know what we voted for? Not really. Um. I thought we read the letter. I sent that letter. Yeah. yeah, it was in the email. Oh, I thought you just sent it to me. No, no, no. Uh, that's, okay. No, I sent it to all of you. But what did I we... would not have put it in the consent calendar without sending it to all of you. But what did we consent that we're not going to do anything with it? Is that what um, I consent? No. Well, would you like to vote to remove it from the consent calendar? And we can <laughs> <laughs> talk about it? Yeah, let's do that. I move that we remove. 
this from the consent calendar. Second. <coughs> All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay, so they sent a letter to the board requesting an abatement, not even an abatement, but for you to waive the tax bill, um, which is not the process to follow. The process to follow is an abatement. So I sent you the response letter that I intended to send, um, which Denise initially asked me to hold off on because you had questions about it. And then um, you seem, you know, through discussion, you seem to feel better to have had your questions answered. So um, I'm happy to answer any questions about it. I, I advise them in the letter of the process to file for an abatement if they wish to do so. <coughs> okay, so, so we can't just waive the tax bill, right? I mean, well, you, shred it. You could, you know, you, you are the assessors by law, so you can create an abatement and, you, you know, make it happen on their behalf, but it's not really a proper procedure. We, we do that for when there are errors. The abatements that you mm -hmm. recently signed are because, you know, there, there are assessing errors that, you know, make it an error. You're correcting an error. But if somebody is disagreeing with the fact that there's a tax bill or the amount of a tax bill, the proper process for that is to file an abatement request so that you can document why you feel as though you are entitled to an abatement and that you can decide based on those merits that they are or are not entitled to an abatement. So that is the, and, and then that is um, either approved or denied by the board and then they can go to the BTLA or they can go to the Superior Court. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not really, um, it would be improper I would say to just um, um, abate taxes for an individual on their behalf without the filing of a form and mm -hmm. a, a reason. So. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I mean, I, I agree that I might like them and be like, oh, I don't know anything. Well, we all have to, well, well, we all have to follow yeah. the same rules, I think. Right. Well, you know, right. Yeah. And in the end, they have the choice to file the abatement. Right. It will come back before you officially, and then you can look at it again based on the merits that they provide on the form and substantiating documentation that you do or don't at that time. Mm -hmm. It's just not the time. Mm -hmm. In the interim, they pay the bill? They pay the bill or they accrue interest on the bill. So this is going to follow yep. up and follow up. Well, and everything I'll, I'll file it. Take care of it. Yeah. Okay. Um, SHI computer to monitor? No. Are we done with this one? Um, Highway. I thought we'd void it if that if yeah, that, I if would void it. Yeah. By consensus, you're good with that? Yeah. Because you found them one, right? Well, so um, we do. Um, one six four zero to SHI for computer monitors. But we didn't for vote for it, so I'm, we're avoiding it. But could, but we're not. Well, just that we know never to sign yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So um, so Tom Labelle found for us two laptops that the school has agreed to give the town. Mm -hmm. um, so one of those will be used by the highway department, and the other will be shared between some of us here in the administrative office. Mm -hmm. um, so that's great, and, and um, it worked out really well. It is something that we should budget to replace at some point, mm -hmm. you know, because they are older computers, mm -hmm. maybe for 21 or 22. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the amount of what George is probably going to be doing on it, it's probably going to last him a while. For any of us, for any, either of those. might be yeah. less likely to last long, yeah, as long, because you're using it daily. But. All right. So that's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. All right. So we need to go back into non-public. Which one is it? Um, we need to welfare. do welfare for RSA 91-A colon 32 for welfare. And then we we're also going to go in um, RSA 91-A 3 colon 2 C verification of individual on the board. Not on the board. And that's it, right? Um, I think you wanted to discuss a personnel thing, you said. Did you want to mention a personnel? Oh, is that highlight? Yeah. yeah, you had mentioned you wanted to. Yes. Yeah. RSA 91A colon 32A for personnel. I think you have a customer for a community input. <laughs> <laughs> Evening. I'll get there. I get, <laughs> yes. Not a problem. I got a quick cash towing. You got any update on their hours that they're supposed to be operating yet? Um, that has not hit planning, and that's something that will get discussed in the planning process. So it was, it was a it, mess today. 
out there. So it's coming soon. Okay. But they're not there yet. So until until they get to the planning board, they're kind of um, in this um, limbo. Yeah. Because there were cars all over the place in there today. Today? Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Were they doing a removal of vehicles? Or? They were way out in the mud. <laughs> he, it, it might be related to where there is activity where he thought his property mm -hmm. line was, but, and maybe his property now line is not what he... Yeah, it might be all on this side off. of the fence. Oh, okay. So yeah. maybe he had to do something like that. But. Mm. All right. Anyway. Uh, I'll move we go into non-public for uh, welfare, RSA 91-A. Phone 3, Section 2, Letter 2. Second. All right. We are now in 